Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy. Be sure to turn back in for another YouTube video and today. I got a special video in the house. Today we are reacting to the NBA 75th anniversary and wait, what? Anniversary team. They gave a little, it's not even a ranking, it's kind of a list of the top 75 players ever. But actually, I was reading this before I was starting the video. I don't know why I didn't notice this before. Do, do y'all see this? It says as a result of a tie. The 75th anniversary team includes 76 players. Um, hello? There no longer is a 75th, I don't know what the hell they're doing. Man, if you're gonna have the top 30 players, you better have 30 players, not 31 players. I don't care if this is a tie. Make a decision. So I don't know who voted on this or who made the decision of who to have who and where to have where, but it's all in alphabetical order. We're gonna react to this. And also, obviously, if y'all don't know, I'm 23 years old. I know a lot about the NBA, but guys like George Mikan, sure I've heard of his name because of 2K, do I watch George Mike in highlights? No, I don't care to know, and I will never care to know. Sorry to George Mike. Rest in peace. Now, let's get into this video. All right, here we go. Let's just go in alphabetical order, and again, we'll just go through the guys that I know, and I'm going to guess. So the 76 players, I'm going to guess I know at least 70 of them. I'd be shocked that there's more than six players I don't know, I've never heard of. All right, here we go. So we got Kareem, obviously, you know, the leading, the lead leaguer in scoring. Ray Allen, Jesus Shuttlesworth, of course. Giannis, shout out to Giannis, making the team already. He's probably going to end up being top 10, top 15 all time, especially if he wins one or two more rings. Melo made it. That's kind of crazy. Nate Archibald. Okay. All right, here we go. There's one. I, I don't know who this is. Paul Orzen. Ladies and gentlemen, again, I'm a big NBA guy. I play a lot of 2K, which my team is a great thing to help younger people like me find out a lot about these older players. I have never heard of this dude. Paul Orzen. Okay. He played for 12 years. I'm sorry, y'all. I think I heard things about that Kyrie Irving didn't make the team. This dude ain't better than no damn Kyrie, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. I, I'm seeing his stats here. Here's some of his stats. He played 12 years in the 50s and the early 60s. I'm sorry. This guy's not better than Kyrie Irving, bro. I, I, I'm sorry. This might offend older fans that maybe grew up watching him. And if you grew up watching him in the 1950s, you would have to be, how old would you have to be? You would have to be almost in the 70s, maybe 80s. This guy is not a better player than Kyrie Irving, bro. I'm sorry. Stop this. Stop the cap. Stop the presses. He's a small 40, 6'4". I'm sorry, dog. I'm sorry. Let's get back to the list. Hey, shout out to homeboy. Rest in peace, but I don't know about that one. Charles Barkley. I know him. Rick Barry. Know him. Elgin Baylor. Shout out to homeboy. Dave Bing. Know him because of 2K. Play with the Pistons. Shout out to Larry Bird. Uh, rest in peace, Mamba and Kobe Bryant, Will Chamberlain, Bob Cousy. Again, we have a running joke in my YouTube chat that Bob Cousy couldn't beat me in basketball. Ladies and gentlemen, I have no idea. All I say is this, and again, respectful, but it's joking around. Bob Cousy and some of these older players that played in the 50s and 60s probably smoked cigarettes for breakfast. I'm being honest. They probably had no true idea of what health and benefits were back in that day and age. So, yeah, I, I don't know how me today and Cousy then could beat me. I'm just too strong. Too quick. I don't know. Dave Cowell's no homeboy. Billy Cunningham. I feel like I've heard that name. But it's not coming to me. Pause. It's not, it's not hitting me in the head. I'm not too sure. Let me look him up. Billy Cunningham. Okay. I feel like I remember this name, though. Okay, so he's still alive. Shout out to homeboy. Fifth pick in the draft. He's a small forward power forward. See the stats. Stats are good. He played in the ABA a little bit, but he played in a league where they didn't even count blocks and steals for the most part or three pointers. I'm sorry. Again, this guy's not better than Kyrie Irving, bro. I mean, I, it's the thing. It's just so weird to say, and it, you have to have that balance in life. There are players today that would wipe, would wipe the floor with these guys. I'm sorry. So I guess you're having to, it's weird to equate it. Yes, players that played in the 50s, which was literally 70 years ago, can't be better than guys that play today. Why? It's just, it's not impossible. If that's the case, then we're, we're, NBA is not a good spot in life. But I understand that these are achievement awards. It's giving credit to the people that were before you, not today. But yes, I could name probably 30 NBA players nowadays that are better than me. Bradley Beal is probably better than that dude. I'm sorry. You have Curry on it, AD on it. Hey, he's kind of shocking. AD, Dave DePashore, Dubichier. I can't pronounce his name, but I know homeboy. He played with uh, Phil Jackson. Next up, Clyde Drexler, Tim Duncan, yes, of course. Katie, Irving, Ewing, Frazier. I agree with all those. Garnett, shout out to the KG. 
Uh, you have Gervin, Hal Greer. I know Homeboy as well. Again, again, one of those old prehistoric players. I don't know. James Harden's there. Havlicek, Hayes, AI made it. Of course, LeBron, MJ, Sam Jones made it. That's kind of shocking. Uh, Michael Jordan, J. Kidd, and, and Kawhi Leonard. And I think the problem is, and people are going to be spamming in the comment section already. I can picture it. Well, why would these guys won seven rings? Sam Jones has like five, six championships. That's not more than that. He probably has more than that. I, it's so hard to compare. That's why it's so tough to even talk in that conversation of, how is Bill Russell not the greatest? Well, yeah, he played in a league where there was like eight people. Okay. There was eight teams. There was It was Lakers, Celtics pretty much every year. It's hard to have competition. Then you had a couple years of Bob Pettit playing well. It's it's a very awkward thing to talk about. Dame literally made this list. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on here. Wait, 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 hold on. Damian Lillard made this list, but not Kyrie? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, no, something's going on here. I'm sorry, this is Cap. I love Damian Lillard. He's not a better player than Kyrie now. Especially not all time. This is crazy. That's this. I'm sorry, bro. This is wild. I don't know who th this. Wow. Jerry Lucas, Malone, uh, Moses Malone, Pete Maravich, Bob McAdoo, Mikhail, shout out to George Mikan, uh, Reggie Miller, or Monroe. I'm cool with that. Steve Nash, Dirk, Elijah Wan, shout out to the Keem, Jack, Parrish, Paul. I'm cool with that. Peyton, Pettit, and Pierce. Wow, Paul Pierce made the list as well. Shout out to Homeboy. Pippen, Reed. Uh, Robertson and Robinson, Rodman, Russell. Who the hell is this? All right, back-to-back -back names. I don't know who these guys are. Let's look these guys up. Dolph Shaley's? Dolph? Dolph? I don't know who this is. Dolph Shaley's. And you know what's funny, y'all? I guarantee you no one ever Googles this guy's name. It's probably because the list came out and people are looking at these guys. Who the hell are these guys? Six foot eight. He won one title. His career average is 18 points a game. Again, I'm sorry. This guy's not better than Kyrie. I I was on that point with these older players. The fact that they have Lillard on here ruins the list. I'm sorry. I, it ruins the list. You cannot have Lillard on this list and not have Kyrie Irving. I'm sorry. This is bad. Uh, the other guy was Bill Sherman. I mean, a lot of these guys I don't know what played in the 50s where I literally, my dad wasn't even born in the 50s. So obviously I would never know who these guys are. All right, here we go. Bill Sherman. Again, played with the Celtics. Uh, he played with the Celtics for 10 years. Again, I'm a Celtics fan, never heard of him. Uh, he's an eight-time All-Star, four-time champion. What's the stats looking like? He averaged 17 points a game. Uh, the rebounding stats were awful. What, what Was this guy a guard? I, mean, I guess he's a guard, because the rebounding stats are absolutely atrocious. Yeah, he's a shooting guard. All right, back. Uh, let's see. John Stockton, Isaiah Thomas, Nate Thurman, Wes Unsell, shout out to Homeboy. His, his son actually is a coach. I think it was the Wizards. Dwayne Wade, Bill Walton, Jerry West, Westbrook made it, Lenny Wilkins, I know Homeboy, Dominique Wilkins, and James Worthy. I'm trying to think of people off the top of my head that didn't make the list. And again, obviously some of the newer players. And again, y'all can debate yourselves in the comment section. Is Carl Anthony Towns probably not a better player than some of these guys right here? Yeah. Is Bradley Beal probably a better skillful player? Yeah. You could probably go back and forth with some of these guys and saying, yeah, these guys are probably more accomplished, and yet they still don't make the list. I don't get Lillard's, though. Lillard's doesn't make any sense. I'm not saying you have to be a champion. Melo's on this list. Uh, Dominique Wilkins on this list. They have a lot of guys that didn't win championships that are on this list, but Lillard isn't better than Kyrie, and Kyrie has a title. That part doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, let's see. Tony Parker is not on this list. Manu Ginobili's not here. Uh, all the three big three on the Celtics are here. Chris Bosh didn't make the list. I don't think, I don't think, what was his name? Bill Sharman. I don't think he's better than Chris Bosh. Kevin Love didn't make the list. Wait, hold on. I just realized someone. Oh my, yeah, yeah, this thing, this thing is trash. I'm sorry, this is garbage. I looked in the H's. Dwight Howard didn't make this, man. Dwight Howard's literally one of the greatest defenders of all time. People think of him now as just a role player. Dwight Howard with the Orlando Magic was a dominant, one of the best players in the league. And I'm sorry, again, I feel like I'm trashing these guys. It has nothing to do with them. It's just, it is what it is. Billy Cunningham and, and what was the other guy's name? Paul Arzen are not better than Dwight Howard, bro. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really trying to break this thing down off the top of my head to see players I, I'm not seeing. I'm trying to think of guys that were in the NBA Finals recently. I can't think of any. But I, I'm not with this. I'm not with this. The big ones, Manu, Parker, 
especially Dwight Howard and Kyrie Irving. The fact that they didn't make this list, it's a shame. It's really bad. Y'all let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Y'all let me know, man. I'm out of here, man. Peace out.